In this masterpiece in taste episode, I'll show you how to create this golden royale, which is an Arabica Katawai mousse with a bergamot gel and a French Earl Grey creme. And I'll be pairing that with a Law Espresso Limited Creations Arabica Katawai capsule. Now for the first component we're gonna put in is the bergamot gel, which first we're gonna create out of a lemon jam. And to get that lemon jam, I've got a whole piece of lemon, the segments, the juice, and as well as the peel, but not the pith, into this one pot with some sugar and some water. But let that water reduce, and as it boils, it kind of cooks out the peel of the lemon, and then let that reduce even further until it caramelizes. And once it caramelizes, I've got here is bergamot juice and some water, and we're gonna create a gel out of that. My favorite thing about this dessert is this gel right here, which is really bright, zingy, and full of flavor, which is very zesty. When you bite into it, it's not rich. You have a sweetness from the Arabica Twai mousse, and then you get this burst of citrus flavor that comes through. So you can see it's starting to jam up a little bit. You wanna keep cooking that until it starts to go golden brown. And once it reaches to about this stage where it's becoming more golden, you wanna grab your bergamot juice and deglaze. And since the flavor of bergamot is quite sharp, I'm gonna add some water as well. And once we've added our water, we're gonna add in our agar. And that's gonna create a jelly. So it's really important to bring this up to the boil because that activates the agar. And once it's boiling, just turn off the heat. You can transfer it to a container and let that set. And once this has set to a jelly, you wanna blend it to a really smooth gel. Once you've blended it to a really fine and smooth gel, this should be what you get. And what we're gonna do here is pipe it into a silicon mold and that's gonna be the inside of our mousse. On to the mousse, and this mousse is an anglaise based mousse. And what we're gonna do here is have the egg yolk and sugar together, give that a good whisk. Meanwhile, we're gonna have our milk just come to a simmer. Now once the milk has come to simmer, Gonna temper it into the egg, little by little. And from here, we're gonna put it back into the pot and bring it up to a temperature of 83 or 85 degrees. Now we've got our anglaise, we're gonna put in our gelatin and white chocolate. And let that melt through. And while this mixture is still hot, I'm gonna add in a pod of Arabica Katwai, ground coffee on its own. Now the ground coffee of the Arabica Katwai is gonna add a lot of depth of flavor by infusing into the milk and as well as the chocolate and making it become an espresso mousse. And the reason why I didn't boil it up with the milk is because I don't wanna cook the coffee too much. Now at this stage here, I'm gonna transfer the anglaise and white chocolate mixture into a bowl. And start folding in whipped cream. Now you can leave this in the fridge for a little bit to cool down or you can add it now. It's not a bad thing because if you add in the cream a bit too hot, it's gonna collapse, but it's okay. You can let it set in the fridge. So now here I've got the frozen gel insert that we put into the mold and just popped it out. I'm gonna pour in our mousse into the mold, which is a cube mold. And I'm gonna fill it almost to the top, leaving about two centimeter gap. I'm gonna grab these frozen gels and just pop that right in the middle. And now that I've got the gel insert in there, I'm gonna to top it off with a bit more mousse and flatten the surface. It's really important not to push down the gel too much, otherwise it'll sink all the way to the bottom. And the next component we're gonna create is the French Earl Grey Creme. And here I've got milk cream and French Earl Grey tea that is loose leaf. And here I've got egg, white chocolate, and some sugar. And so what we're gonna do with the sugar is to add it into our egg while we bring our Earl Grey to a simmer. And why I love this French Earl Grey Cremeau because it brings such delicious fragrance to the dish. And so all the creaminess, Cremeau means creamy in French. And now our mixture has come to a simmer. We're gonna temper that into our egg. Now that we've got our milk, cream, and Earl Grey inside our eggs, we're gonna pop that back into our pot and bring this back up to a temperature of 85 degrees or until it thickens enough to coat the back of a spoon. And once our Earl Grey Anglaise has thickened up, we're gonna add in our chocolate. Once the white chocolate has melted through, 
We're gonna pop this into a container and let it set overnight in the fridge. The next component here that I prepared earlier is a caramelized white chocolate with brown butter crumble. And to do that, here is what a white chocolate will look like once you've roasted in the oven with this beautiful caramelization all the way throughout. And it brings out less sweetness, but more savory flavors into this. And that's gonna go perfectly well with our Arabica Katwai as it's all about gold. This is also known as gold chocolate. And that's blended with some brown butter and some tapioca maltodextrin to create this beautiful, lovely crumble. And for the next component, we're gonna work on the microwave sponge, which will have the Arabica Katwai in it as well. So into a container, some eggs and egg white, sugar and flour. And here I've got some melted chocolate. And the next thing I'm gonna add in is the Arabica Katwai coffee ground. And I'm gonna blend everything together. And after we blend everything together, we're just gonna strain it through into a siphon. And from here, we're gonna charge it twice. And what this gas will do, kind of aerate everything inside the sponge. And so when you put it into the microwave, it can have this amazing texture where it gets super fluffy. So we're gonna grab ourselves a coffee cup and just gonna pierce the bottom, just a few holes, and only fill this up halfway through. You're gonna put this in the microwave for about 40 seconds. And you'll see there, it's super light, airy, and really fluffy. And when you put this in the microwave, it's gonna rise all the way up, and you'll get this amazing texture of a microwave sponge. Super airy, almost like a, a coral sponge. All right, now it's for the fun part. We're gonna work with this milk chocolate. We're gonna dip the mousse into this. And here is the Arabica Katwa mousse in the small sphere mold, and as well here that we froze earlier in the cube mold. And all we're gonna do now is just pop these little frozen spheres that I've put together and dip them in. And you can see it starts to get a bit matte. I'm gonna let that until it completely sets before we remove it. Now we're gonna dip our big cube we skewer that down right in the middle. I'm gonna put this into our chocolate. Once that completely coats, find a corner, drip it all the way down until the chocolate begins to set just ever so slightly. I'm gonna place it back down. I'm gonna use my finger as well. Just dip where the hole is and just seal. And before we spray this, I'm gonna join the ball and the cube together by putting a little bit of chocolate just on one corner, and then placing our sphere on top. All right, so this is a little bit ridiculous, but absolutely necessary. Here, we've got the chocolate in a paint gun, and this is very important too, so that it doesn't go everywhere. The reason why I'm spraying this mousse is because it creates this nice velvety kind of texture on the outside, where it's easier for the gold for it to stick on. But I mean, if you're at home, it's okay. You don't have to do that. Now we're gonna let this set in the freezer for a few more moments until it's completely solid. Then we can handle it with our hands and start brushing with the gold. Here's our gorgeous mousse that has been assembled and sprayed with velvety chocolates. And I'm gonna make it look pretty with a makeup brush here and gold luster. Now that we've got our beautiful dessert looking like a gold brick, it's time to plate up and assemble all our components together. We're gonna to put a little dollop of our French or Grey Cremo, a bit of our bergamot gel, and a crumble of our caramelized white chocolate, a bit of the micro sponge. I've got some yellow linaria here, just to stick on to go around our dessert. And there you have it, my golden royal dessert to pair with the Law Espresso Limited Creations Arabica Katwai. Not just gorgeous, but also absolutely delicious.